information. Um, uh, Noelle had uh, requested that she wanted to uh, share a few thoughts, and uh, we'll give her a few minutes. Then after that, uh, uh, Amanda uh, will lead us in uh, the open mic along with refreshments and mingling. But uh, if you have some thoughts or ideas or things you want to share, we'll have a mic here available, and we'll certainly listen and continue discussion. So, uh, Noelle? For a second, I thought you were going to say she was going to lead us in prayer. <laughs> <laughs> the benediction will be. <laughs> well, um, first of all, I just want to thank you all for coming and listening to uh, Sean's speech, um, coming out to support Iowa atheists and free thinkers. And um, I want to commend you guys for uh, it sounds like what you're going to have a great year coming ahead. Um, and it sounds like you've had a great things going on in the past. Um, as it turns out, I'm actually missing the Houston National Day of Reason party going on tonight, uh, <laughs> put on by the Secular Center. So, um, but I'll have to uh, tell them that it was totally worth it. So, <laughs> um, Thank you. I, I just wanted to uh, mention a few things that we have going on just so that you would be aware of what's going on in Texas. Um, and I think you mentioned it, the, uh, the rally in Austin. Um, the Secular Center is one of the co-sponsors for the rally. It's called the Texans for Truthful Textbooks Rally. And uh, many of the groups are organizing van pools to, from the large cities uh, to, to Austin. So from Houston, Dallas, and San Antonio. Um, and so that's, that's one thing that we're doing. But um, the, the, um, the, our day of reason event tonight, we're closing out our Be The Match uh, fundraising drive, which we kicked off at the American Atheist Convention, and Amanda uh, was very uh, nice to join the registry. Um, and so, uh, but what I, what I wanted to mention that involves Iowa Atheists and Freethinkers is that, um, and I was going to bring her up here, but she had to go. Um, how many of you know Kate Simonson? Does anyone know Kate? Well, um, Megan, who had to leave, is a very good friend of Kate's, and uh, Kate has a brain tumor, and she had to go down to Houston. She's from Iowa, and she had to go down to Houston for a uh, ex to, for an experimental treatment evaluation, and the Secular Center um, organized a place to stay for her and rides while she was there to and from her treatment, um, bought her meals, and so on and so forth, um, and so... Uh, I just presented Megan with a check for $2,000 that we raised for Kate and her family. So, yeah, so you should see something about that. Um, I believe Megan's going to uh, submit something to your newsletter, but I just wanted to share that with you. And um, if you see Megan and she's talking to you about uh, what went on with Kate, that's what it is. I just wanted you to be informed and... Um, to thank uh, everyone in this community for supporting Kate as we found her to be a wonderful, caring, generous person and we really enjoyed uh, getting to know her in Houston. She was a great representative for you all here in Iowa. So, um, so that's great and uh, um, I think that's it. So thank you. Okay, thank you.